So we know that that meeting is happening shortly and at the moment I, I chose a very quiet spot here outside the European Commission and now it's really heating up with journalists mostly from Spain because Señor Alvarez is expected to come um, to be here in around 10 minutes time. Uh, we know already that Lord Cameron and Maros Shevkovic are inside the European Commission. They have of course been t uh, talking about something completely different, the Trade Council Agreement. They are chairing a meeting, that's what they were here for originally. The Gibraltar meeting is scheduled for two o'clock this afternoon and as I say we're just expecting uh, Mr. Arvarez to come in. We saw the Chief Minister arrive with the Deputy Chief Minister Joseph Garcia about half an hour ago. So fingers crossed that it is an important day. I don't know where we are, nobody knows where we are, but we sort of get the feeling that um, only because, and I, t I hate to harp on about this, but there's something the Chief Minister told GBC this week that really stuck and that's that you have to assess where you are and so it just gives you the feeling that there's a deal, it may be imperfect but you need to assess is it good enough to go but as I said last night they have to be ready. Christine, quick word on what the Chief Minister Fabian Picardo and the rest of the delegation was looking like when they arrived. Anything, uh, what's the mood like? Well, it was difficult. We got, we got a snap shot of them um, coming in in a black Mercedes through the back entrance of the European Commission. I think the mood is hopeful, uh, but I really think it's time to sort of look at the deal as we've been speaking, as we've been talking about recently. There is that deadline, that sort of self-imposed deadline that uh, next week they will go into Perda before, and that means that all political movement will stop at the Commission, ahead of the European Commissions. So there is that sort of push, let's get it done now, now's the time to do it. But as I keep saying, they need to look at it and that yardstick, that litmus test is, is it better than a no deal? One of the producers told me this morning, oh my God, we're between a rock and a, and a hard Brexit. I think that's exactly where we are at the moment.